Spicing up your speech using wise in English. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into the world of adverbs and enhancing our English vocabulary. Our focus will be on a specific suffix used to form adverbs, wise. You've probably come across this suffix in your English language journey, and we're here to ensure you understand and use it like a pro. Let's start at the beginning. Wise is a suffix in English used to form adverbs, meaning, in the manner of, or, regarding. For example, when we say, clockwise, it means, in the direction that the hands of a clock move. Here's another example. He organized the books alphabet-wise, means he organized the books in the manner of the alphabet, or according to alphabetical order. There are a lot of wise adverbs commonly used in English. Some of these include 1. Otherwise, in a different way or manner. 2. Likewise, in the same way. 3. Clockwise, in the direction that the hands of a clock move. 4. Anti-clockwise, or counterclockwise in American English, in the opposite direction to the way in which the hands of a clock move. 5. Lengthwise, in the direction of the length. These adverbs can add specificity and interest to your speech and writing. However, there's an important rule to remember. The suffix wise is generally only added to nouns. That being said, it's becoming increasingly common in casual English to add wise to almost anything to mean, in terms of, or, regarding such as money-wise or food-wise. Though it's more accepted in informal language, you might want to avoid this usage in formal writing or speech. Stick to the established wise words like clockwise, otherwise, and likewise when you're in a formal setting. That wraps up our lesson on the suffix wise. Now you not only know what it means, but you also know how to use it correctly. We hope this has added a new dimension to your English vocabulary and you're feeling ready to use these adverbs in your daily conversations. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next video.